Today we are pleased to present a Chinese propaganda film named Sparkling Red Star, which was published in 1974. The film was sincerely made to honor and celebrate the 25th Chinese National Day. In the film, the violent social class struggle in the Chinese society is shown as the film was produced during the Cultural Revolution. At that time, the People's Liberation Army, which is the Red Army, was restored by mainly the youths like farmers and workers who fought against the force of the government and the higher social classes. The revolution aimed to preserve the CCP by purging the capitalist and tra traditional Chinese elements to reimpose Maoism as the dominant ideology. As a propaganda film, China is presented at a brochure society where the emergence of the Red Army upholds communism and shapes China into a society with common ownership and the absence of social classes. The film displays the harsh living environment of the farmers as the landlord exploited their money and land. The story describes how the young hero, Pan, defeated the landlord after joining the Red Army. The film mainly shows the glory and the loyalty of the United Red Army at that time. CCP is believed to be the one who led the society into the new China. The five-pointed Red Star is continuously shown throughout the film. The Red Star is found on military caps and are hung outside of every house. The Red Star symbolizes revolution and hope illustrating the young hero's longing for the Red Army and the belief in following the revolution. Chinese people often associate the Red Star with the phrase Red Power. This suggests that the Red Star was used as an emphasis on the strength and respect towards the CCP. As shown in the title, the word sparkling illustrates the bright future of the CCP and the Red Army. After joining the Red Army, the main character becomes a hero in the village by defeating the landlords. This creates the impression that joining the Red Army leads people to become more powerful and fearless. Sparkling Red Star is co-directed by Li Jin and Li Ang and written by Li Xintian in 1974. They are all Chinese who lived in China during the Cultural Revolution. The storyteller of this film is Pan Dongzi. He presents his childhood story that happened 40 years before the movie is released. This film was made to celebrate and honor the 25th Chinese National Day. The motivation behind this film was to make young audiences in China to respect the CCP and understand why it's important to join the Red Army. This film is told in the gaze of Chinese people who believed in the power of the CCP and admired Mao, hoping for China's youth to follow the CCP. This film would therefore please those who have high regard for Maoism and the CCP. This story was told to suggest that the CCP was the only hope in China to fight for justice. Also, the story told in such a way was to mainly target the young audience because they are the future generations that will be leading the country. In fact, by using a little boy as the main character, it will get more attention from the first people, not only the young audience, because although the main character is young, he shows a strong spirit to a CCP, which makes him more powerful and allows him to defeat the landlord. The use of the young main character makes the audience learn the power of the CCP and understand why it's important to respect the CCP. And here is a short video of Dongji. We could see two different feelings from Dongji, matter as one and two. One of them is where Dongji talk about the Wuhan San, and the other one is where Dongji talk about the Red Army. The contrast in feeling to the landlord and Red Army is to emphasize that the Chinese people at the time wielded the CCP with admiration and hope. At the time, the landlords could easily control and overthrow the villagers, so the inspiration of the Communist Party was the only solution to upward the power of the landlords, built up over thousands of years. Dongji is formed therefore to create elective image of the landlords. This is why the use of contrast in Dongji feelings was important to convey the correct impressions of the Red Army and the landlord. Also, the reason the story is told in the Chinese gate is to allow Chinese to see the similarities of their patriotic mindsets towards their country and create a language to pay Dongji. It will also to highlight the inherent spirit that exists in every Chinese heart. The reasons for producing this film was not only to increase the loyalty to the CCP, but also to increase the soft power of China by spreading this film over the world. This will show that the CCP can create a good future for China, leaving good impressions on foreign countries. The overall purpose of this film is to show why the revolution of the CCP was necessary for China. Under the revolution, the land reform completely destroyed the fundal land system that exists in China for more than 2,000 years, and the land class was also eliminated. Also, it further consolidated the work, prisons, and lands, and the people's democratic dictatorship.